The game will end on this play. Darnold needs to throw it now and does upfield. It's complete to Juju. Wants to get rid of the ball and does to Zach Banner, who is tackled at the 47-yard line. The game is over. And now the Trojans will have to find a way somehow, some way to regroup in this season, which is all of a sudden a one and three season. I'll tell you this, I'm proud of you. I'm proud to be your coach. That's a good football team and a great football game. And went down to the end. You competed with damn honor. If you keep competing like that and get rid of the mistakes, you will win football games. My promise to you. The turning point was definitely at Utah when we, we knew we didn't want to lose anymore. We hated that feeling. Uh, we were one and three, and nobody thought we were important. Start the, to start the season one and three, you know, it's obviously not the start you want, but as a team, we came together. You know, after that Utah loss, we've rattled off a lot of, a lot of wins, and I think it really is the trust that we find in each other and in the coaching staff. We're still Trojans. The thing about us, we, we're always going to bounce back. We just stuck together and just practice after practice. We just, you know, they are talking about, oh, they lost Alabama, oh, they lost Utah, but we didn't care. We knew we still had a whole lot of the season left to go and that our goal is still in front of us. I think, you know, I think every, everything happens for a reason. I think, you know, losing those three games, you know, taught us a lesson. I mean, we went through the deepest and the darkest. And sometimes you gotta go through the darkest times just to get just to find the light. For the 2016 University of Southern California Trojan football team, they've learned some hard lessons in weeks one through four. Lessons they hope they'll be able to learn from and use to their advantage. All the way for the USC touchdown. Here goes Juju. Darnold will keep and he'll walk into the end zone. We just started with the little minute details first. We just took it upon ourselves just to hold every player on our team accountable. And that's going to tutors even. Even if it doesn't seem like it has to do anything with football, it just makes your team that more disciplined. Because that, that's the little things, just doing the simple things better. It's kind of like we go into the games knowing that we're going to win. There's, there's, there hasn't been a game since after Utah where where we've sat on the bench and we're kind of threatened, like, oh, we can lose this game. It was always like, all right, we just need to adjust what we're going to do, adjust ourselves, because this game is about us and about nobody else. Let's enjoy as some legends are made here in November, shall we? Live from Husky Stadium in Seattle, Washington, for your enjoyment, USC Trojan football is on the air. We knew that we needed to get, you know, beat them to be able to accomplish what we wanted for it to even be possible. So. You know, we had a lot of confidence going up there. I thought we had a great matchup against them. And uh, not only that, but we got a lot, you know, Coach Torrey came from there, um, Zach Banners from Washington. We had a lot of guys just, they were really hungry to get after this team. The University of Washington is 35 minutes away from my house, um, back home in Tacoma. And I wanted to go in there and dominate. Brownie dancing on corks. With Dory Jackson. He baited Browning like Deion Sanders used to. Sam Darnold in the shotgun with the snap. Has time. Now it breaks down. Rolls right. Has the open. Tight. He has it. In the end zone. Throws back in the end zone. Caught. Touchdown, USC. Darius Rogers. And the Trojans have the lead. And listen to the small band of USC fans who are here making noise in Seattle, Washington. How do you do? Hands off. Jones up the middle. He's down to the one. He's near the end zone. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, USC. Let's keep it going, baby. Let's keep it going. On third and goal from the eight-yard line. Darnold throws in the end zone. Diving, trying catch, coming down with the ball in the back of the end zone. It is a touchdown, USC, and it's Daniel Amatrebebe to score it. Here's Browning. Steps up, throws across the field. And intercepted by Jackson. A Dory Jackson again. And USC can feel it now. You gotta let him know. It ain't about how you start, it's how you finish, baby. Yeah. You gotta represent, no? Yeah. We're here battling. That's why I love these boys. We got hard to the finish.
Hell yeah, man. The USC Trojans have come to Seattle and upset the undefeated fourth ranked Huskies of the University of Washington. The final score SC 26, Washington 13. How do you do? Just that environment, um, number four team in the nation on the road, it was, it, was something, it was something special. I mean, it's not easy to go on the road in that kind of environment and win. But I think that was that's where everybody knew where where we were as a team. I mean, we were ready. Everyone stayed level-headed, stayed calm. There was no no panic any time that things didn't go our way, and that truly showed the maturity of us as we go, as we went through the season. I think that was a, a great thing for us to do on national television and show everybody that how how much we've improved. Now SC has won six straight yeah. football games. When they decided to go with Sam Darnold at quarterback, that was the complete transition and turning point. Sam Darnold. Beast. Sam Darnold. I could say so much about Sam. Uh, it's pretty incredible. Um, just uh, an unbelievable playmaker. I love Sam, and I'm super grateful not to be his teammate, but to be his friend. And I'm glad that he's leading our football team. This is a guy that I would have 100% faith in, 100% confidence for, for, for him to lead our team. And that's when I knew that this dude is special. Trouble with the handoff to Justin Davis. Darnold chased back. Darnold keeps it alive. Petit down the sideline, touchdown! I really think it's the coaching staff and the players that surround me. You know, I wouldn't be able to, if I didn't have the athletes around me, I'd be able to spread the ball around, the guys protecting in front of me, and the running backs doing what they do in the run game. I think the way we've been able to um, have a balanced attack throughout the season has really been the key to our success. Give it to Ronald Jones. Everybody bunched up. Jones breaks free. Ronald Jones and it's brought down. Daquan Hampton goes up and brings it down for six. From 45 yards away, it's blocked. It's blocked by USC. Throwing end zone, touchdown. And would you believe Daquan Hampton with his second touchdown catch of his career. And the Trojans have beaten the Bruins and beaten them badly. I'm sitting here telling guys, this, we win this game, and then we win next week against Notre Dame. You don't want to look too far in the future, but we just kept saying this, we'll be back here. How do you do, everyone? And welcome to the greatest intersectional rivalry in college football history. Make no mistake, the Domers would like nothing better than to ruin the Trojans' chances at a trip back home to the Rose Bowl on New Year's Day. In the Notre Dame game, when it was raining and, you know, they had a couple timeouts or whatnot and the, the crowd just stayed stayed alive and the players stayed alive and we were out there on the field. That was just, that was a really fun game. And you know, lost a tooth, and I had all the adrenaline going, so I wasn't even noticing it. And players were looking at me with blood coming out of my mouth and stuff, so it was kind of funny. <laughs> so here's Ronald Jones, turns the corner. See you later. Here's Dory Jackson trying to set USC up, and then some. Jackson gets outside down the sideline, stays on his feet. He's going to go all the way. How many different ways can this guy score? Here's a Dory Jackson, leaps over one man, has one more man to beat, a Dory Jackson touchdown again. It's a hat trick. A Dory's hurtling people, a Jane's getting a pick six. We're having fun with each other, and that's, that's all it's about right there. Um, and then coming up victorious and taking pictures with both the trophies afterwards, that's why you come to USC. For us to for us to go out there and bring both of those back to, to SC was was a great way for me to end my senior year and a, a great way for the young guys to, to get there started. Uh, I think with a guy like Zach, guys like Chad, guys like Mike, guys like Leon that have gone through it all, uh, they've paid the price in this program, and for us to be able to go to the Rose Bowl and get the chance to play and come out as Rose Bowl champions and just set the stage for this program to get back to reaching heights like. It's such an honor, you know what I mean, like to even be a part of that story. It's just amazing that our, our team can be remembered as the team that started the SC turnaround. And I think that 
um, us being a Rose Bowl, it's, it's gonna be a memory um, that I'll have for the rest of my life. To be able to finish my college career out at the Rose Bowl against a great team like Penn State, um, it's a dream come true, really. And now our time is here, and I can't even sleep at night, man, to tell you, to tell you the truth. I'm, I'm up, keeping my wife up, looking all this Rose Bowl stuff up on the internet, and just I'm just excited for this game, man. The bar that the senior class has set is the Rose Bowl, and the only way that that can happen is with the sacrifices and the leadership of the senior class. And year by year, if people just wait their turn and then take off when they get to their turn, it, it that's how you get waves, and that's how you. That's how you build up to build dynasties. And to be that first wave is amazing. Now we just gotta finish.